Well, I knew I was in trouble because I knew the evidence had been fabricated. And I was triple category A. I was the only man in the country, triple A, held on remand. I was on remand with the IRA godfathers who escaped out of Whitemore unit with an armed astute with Andy Russell, who also flew a helicopter into Gartree many years ago and landed on a football pitch. So they placed you at that grade. You've got a long way to go before you get considered to be released because you're considered to be too dangerous. So you've got to go triple A, double A, single A, B, C, D. Well, I was still an ACAT 16 years into my sentence up until some paperwork came alight and caused the prison service to treat me like a hot potato and get rid of me. I was either stayed cat A and never been released for many, many, many more years over my tariff. I did go over my tariff, but I'd have done 25, 30 years. And I'll never forget, there was a, a, a member of staff who came up on the landing when I got downgraded. Because first of all, I'll, I'll rewind, the prison directorate come, he was waiting outside my prison, outside my prison cell. And I said, hello, Danny. Danny McAllister, Scotchman, right staunch governor. If he was wrong, he'd tell you he was wrong. He'd tell the staff they was wrong and all, and he'd give it to him. A proper fella. And I always respected him and Governor Perry and Whitemore. Sit down at your table and say, oh, are you lads, all right? But I want to hear what's going on in terms of, is my nick being run right? Are, these, are the guards pulling the wool over my eyes? And they listen to you, right? And I respected that. So he's outside my cell and he says, is that uh, right, what I've heard about this paperwork? I said, it is, yeah. He said, I've come to tell you I've put something in place in relation to your Category A. And I thought, God, is he come to tell me that I'm being made back up to AAA because they're saying I'm now orchestrating getting paperwork out of the police system from within prison? And I'll respect it coming from him so I won't kick off and, uh, you know, go nuts, you know, Fought all these years to get out, and I'm going back up the ladder. Anyway, he didn't. 16 days later, Caff, uh, real nice screw. I don't mind, you know, thank God for the good in the job. It'd be terrible places if they was all arseholes, wouldn't it? And we need the good in the job. And all those that throw scorn on that, they want to think about when there's been a member of staff that's done something for them, when they've had a family death or an important phone call or an important visit, well, they've sorted it. And if it weren't for them, the place would be a lot worse. And this lady, Kath, she was a real nice lady, wouldn't talk to you if she knew you was an arsehole and you weren't respectful around women or a bit, bit of a smell around your case. She'd answer your questions. But to her to have a conversation with you, you felt privileged because she was a nice lady. She told me I'll come off the cutty. She said, Kevin, I've got something to tell you. I said, have you, Kath, what's that? She says, you're a cat B. And it was lovely coming from her. So I got taken off the cat, cat A then to cat B. Went in a governor's meeting, they called me in, said, where do you want to go? I thought, oh, go to Rye or Private Nick, they're like hotels. And they process you quicker because everyone that comes through the gate there is money. So the quicker they get you out, they get more money in, don't they? And they were sitting talking about me like I weren't there. Phone Rye or they said. Tell them he's done every course he needs to have done, if he hasn't done it, just to get him there. And you always... Yeah, there's a lot goes on behind the scenes that you're not, you never party to. You, you believe's happened, and I witnessed and see it with my own ears. They can send you where they want, when they want, and they lie to each other just to get you out of their prison or to get you into another one. And I went to Royal. So, what was that like? Bloody holiday camp. 